Alright guys, let's talk about the M5 twist. What I'm speaking about is strictly for downstream injecting uh, this little no uh, nozzle right here. As you see through the orifice, when it's wide open it is a missile. When it's a thin thing, it's a big fan. So it's nice and easy to adjust on the go. This little thing is not cheap. Uh, I got it off Amazon, like I said, it's the X-Jet M5 DS. Um, they're about $80 probably the best eighty dollars i've spent in a long time so I, i'm here in southwest florida i do a ton of pole cage cleaning before i was using a pump up sprayer to try to do that um, and yes you could use um like j rod i have a j rod it's a pain in the ass to switch from one that you got to keep taking the tip in and out in and out over and over depending on the job this is so much easier literally i could just twist twist and I could just switch to whatever the heck I'm going to do. Makes life amazing. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what I mean by the flow patterns. Uh, my pull cage here, it's not dirty, but I can at least show you what I'm speaking of so you get an idea. This, if you, if you do a lot of house washing and uh, pull cage cleaning, this is going to be your friend. Like I said, it's pricey, but I promise you, the, the amount of time uh, it used to take me, I'd say, uh, an average, well, a decent sized pull cage down here, you know, 2500 square foot home it's a pretty big pull cage probably would take me an hour and a half that's inside and out and the screens themselves. now with this i'm able to knock it down to an hour doesn't sound like much 30 minutes that i do five of those a week so that's two and a half hours per week that i'm saving that's another two jobs i could have did you know like it starts to compound fastly so invest back in yourself and it's going to pay tenfold in the future now let me show you exactly what to do and uh Another trick here. Another trick to do on all of your pressure washing wands is actually to you add a fitting. So usually it's just a straight rod coming right off the the nozzle. But I add a fitting here. The only pain in the butt part is sometimes you blow out the O-rings a little bit more often. They're like five bucks, so it's it's a little bit more maintenance. You know, I might do that every couple months. Who cares? But what I like is I'm able to swivel it under pressure. So, <clears throat> say I created a fan pattern up and down. Instead of having to turn my body, I can literally just twist the entire gun itself while wow, under pressure and i'll show you a demonstration real quick how this works and why i think it's so important M5 twist nozzle, like I said, best $80. And like I said, adding that little uh, a connection quarter inch fitting at your actual gun, it makes it like when I'm doing the fan for, because a lot of times down here in Southwest Florida, the screens will get pure green. So when I'm running solution and anything else like that, it's just so much nicer to be able to just twist the gun, like the actual uh, wand itself, instead of actually having to move my shoulders around. And the combination between that and that makes it so easy. I can blow through pull cages. I did one this morning, it took me like 45 minutes. They were shocked and I charged them $200 to do it. 
So it's a big money maker, especially down here in Florida, anywhere that has uh, outdoor cages like this. Like I said, it's great for doing, so the, like you don't have to do just a missile or a big spread. There's all kind of like adjustments in between. I like to run a fan pattern like this wide instead of a missile when I'm do, like applying chemicals onto the house. So it's a nice quick uh, apply, it's a nice quick application I could put onto a house and then all I do, I, I then I hit my Doug Rucker's downstream injector little shut off thing so I can shut off the chemicals and then rinse with water. Makes life easy. Like I said, that's pole cages. That's gonna be great for doing your pre-treating. I like to do a little stronger than I can with downstreaming for my post-treatment on concrete, depending, depending on how bad it is. I have a whole separate uh, soft washing system for that. But there's so many uh, different things you can use with this. Highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Hope this helped. If there's any video ideas you would like me to demonstrate or talk about, please let me know. I love to interact with everybody. I'm not saying I'm the most knowledgeable person out there in the world, but I'm trying to give this free content out. I see everybody charging a million dollars, so I'm trying to deliver as much as I possibly can for you guys and be involved in the community. I still got things to learn myself, but I'm happy to share with everything I've, and everything I've learned up to now. Take care, guys.